Check out the price action on AMC now. You will find something really, really, really interesting. And I really didn't th think we will be at this point right now in October 2022. Look, a new, I mean, we are, we are just a little inch, like a little notch just above the 52 weeks low on AMC stock price. Look, right there, 52 week low, $6. Six dollar and one cent. Look at where we close today. Six dollars and twelve cents. So we are right there, pretty much at the very low. If you look at Ape, it's trading around one seventy. If you combine the two, which was the uh, uh, ultimately the price of AMC before Apes were distributed to the shareholders, I think it's right there below eight dollars and one cent, which I think it's a psychological uh, level. By that, I mean, it's one of those levels where you really think, okay, this is it. Either it goes back to zero, which is kind of out of the picture, or it goes back to whatever, all right? So I want to go over this video with you guys, what you need to know in terms of facts, in terms of information, in terms of what the reality of things are looking like, which is definitely not what the media and what the price action is projecting. So before you sell your stocks, especially AMC, you need to know that because otherwise I think you'll be making a big mistake, all right? Now, the fact that AMC has been hitting or is trending to a new low, which is, you know, the lowest since we've been really, really, really started this whole thing, means that, well, if it, if it was a regular stock, it would mean that things are on, you know, the downtrend here which they are, you know, which they are, because we, we, we've been trading at $30 with this new price with Ape, and now we're trading at six. But what is really interesting here is people are not selling, all right? So if it was another stock, you look at the volume, you will see that the average volume on AMC has not been met. And if you look at the data on the main brokers, Fidelity, Schwab, TD Ameritrade, Etoro, all of these guys, you will see that AMC is still part of the top 10 or the most held and bought stocks. But why in the heck the price is not showing? Well, for obvious reasons we've been discussing for the last two years. On top of this, I also wanted to share something really interesting with you when it comes to Ape, which I do believe will not be, I mean, it wouldn't be a surprise for me if this was also very true for AMC stock. This is a graph of what we call the daily short interest is the amount or the percentage which is capturing how oversold, how, you know, shorted this stock is. This is Ape, all right? Remember, Ape and AMC, almost the same thing. They are supposed to be trading at the same level. So if Ape is already trading at almost 60% short interest on a daily basis, can you imagine how much more to an exponential level AMC short interest on a daily basis will be. I mean, we look at Ortex data and everything, but we do know that that data is not reflecting the reality of things, all right? And because of that, I wouldn't be surprised if AMC short daily interest or daily short interest will be at 10 times, 20 times this amount. So what does that mean in simple language? Well, when a short, when, when a stock is that high on a short interest, especially especially on the daily level, well, it means that we are getting to that point which we call capitulation, all right? And usually people will think about capitulation as that term that means that people will kind of drop all the long positions, they will sell, and then they will get out. No, I think capitulation here is the hedges have tried and pushed this to almost a new low for the, the, the year. And because of that, they would expect people to start dumping AMC and get out for the price to drop, to drop again even further down, and then they would not have to cover and collect the gains on the way down. But that's not what is happening. As a matter of fact, one of the hedge funds was interviewed a couple of days ago and he said GameStop is one of the only short positions in 2022 that has not fallen so far, but they are still doubling down. And why, I mean, I mean, think, Think about it. If they are doubling down and the price is still going and nobody is leaving in terms of the retail investors, what do you think is going to happen next? 
they're gonna get tired. They're gonna go. They're gonna run out of ammunition. And by ammunition, I mean money because that money is now getting a lot more expensive to get in the market through the Fed and through the banks because of interest rates increasing. Plus, they are also dumping a ton of money and losing a ton of money on their positions. I mean, just look at Tiger Global. They already lost what twenty, almost twenty billion dollars in the last six months or so. So. I think the capitulation here is pretty close and that means for me that AMC might definitely have a short reversal. I mean, it can happen literally in the next two or three days. We don't know, but the thing is, it is on the verge of happening. That doesn't necessarily mean that's going to go back to new highs, but at least to a certain level where it's going to be, it's going to be causing serious damage to the short sellers that have been doubling down since the last couple of months here, right? So before you sell your stock because maybe you're scared, maybe you think, okay, this is it. I'm now red and I've never been red for the last two years. So is it even worth keeping? Before you start thinking about that, because I'm, I'm sure some people are thinking about it, especially those who joined uh, 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 recently, you know, or people that are in a position where it's tough financially and they need to kind of free up the money that was tied into AMC because they thought by this, by now, the money will I mean the, the money would have doubled, tripled, or even, you know, 10x, but it hasn't, all right? So if you are in a position where you feel like, you know, I have no choice, do what you need to do, all right? But if you still can be a little bit more patient, I would advise what I'm doing here is I see this as an opportunity for them, the other side, to start getting out because they clearly see it's not working, all right? And because it's not working, there's no choice for them to remain because the longer they gain, I mean, the longer they, 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 they remain active in this, the harder it's going to be when the wave turn because it's going to turn. Nothing lasts forever, all right? This whole thing is going to pass. The market is going to stop thinking and at some point it's going to rebound hard. And when it does, they're going to get burned. So all of these are facts and reality you need to know before you actually press that sell button. Not financial advice, just my opinion, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section.